gentlemen we are back with pokemon trading card game online and woof, dude, let me tell you does it feel good to be back we are here today with a seismitoad dragonite deck although we're actually only running one seismitoad because he's cheesy <laughs> well this is the dc i don't know it just doesn't seem like a very i don't really like it in terms of uh, item lock again it just feels cheap but uh, we are also running the regular Dragonite, not the Dragonite EX that everyone's going crazy for right now. Who has the ability Deafen for 60 damage, 3 energy. Your opponent cannot play item cards from his or her hand next turn. Uh, so to power this up, since it costs 3 energy, we are going to be running Verizion. Uh, even though we're also paired up with Garbodor, which may seem like a strange uh, pairing. And I thought so too at first, but it actually works surprisingly well. So we're going to be running 5 Grass Energy for that and 4 DC for our Dragonite. Because... Technically, even though Verizion does help out a lot, if you can't get that DC, that's kind of what Verizion's for. But otherwise, if you just attach one Grass Energy and then one uh, Double Colorless Energy, and that's why Verizion's still excellent, because he can still prevent your uh, status conditions. So, on top of that, we're going to be running, what's kind of the things that might be out of the ordinary? Yeah, two Silver Mirrors. So, obviously, if our uh, Dragonite or Seismitoad has uh, Silver Mirror attached to them and we're playing a Team Plasma deck and we lock them out of items, they can no longer remove our tool, making us invincible the rest of the game. So, I think that's kind of a little bit too good a thing to not run any of it. So, I decided just to run two because, surprisingly, Team Plasma actually isn't all that common anymore. At least, I don't run into it all that much on this. Uh, we run four Rare Candy, one Scramble Switch for our Ace spec, just because three energy is a lot, and if we're running low on health, we can switch all of our energy into a new active Dragonite. Uh, and this is kind of the kind of key card I thought that's uh, not really played all that often, but I really like it in this deck. It's the Tool Retriever to choose up to two Pokemon tools to attach your Pokemon and put them in your hand. So we can take this off Garbodor to uh, make Grizzian's ability kick in just to get rid of status conditions and put it back on. We can also take the Silver Mirror off of Dragonite and uh, put a Muscle Band on instead if we're no longer attacking, being attacked by a Team Plasma Pokemon, or vice versa. If we have a Muscle Band attached, all of a sudden they drop a big scary Team Plasma Pokemon. We can take it off and put a tool, uh, or sorry, yeah, put our uh, silver mirror on. Uh, so, otherwise, pretty basic supporter line 3 3 and Juniper, 3 Skyla, and 3 Pokemon Fan Club. The reason I chose 3 Skyla is because this mountain ring can be a factor sometimes if you want to prevent your weak little Tratinis from being uh, knocked out from the bench, and also because just uh, to try and get this in play just so much faster. The uh, rare candy really is a necessity. Uh, yeah, three Pokemon Fan Club, three Float Zone, three Muscle Band, and two Silver Mirror. So that's a total of, what, eight tools? So yeah, that's a good portion of our deck is dedicated to tools to make sure we can shut off abilities with Garbodor if we need to. Uh, four Ultra Ball, two Colorists. I have this Colorist when you have a pretty much a full bench all the time with your Bench Dratinis getting set up for Dragonites, your Vrizions, and your Garbodor. Colorist is usually a good bet. Uh, yeah, I think that just about covers up this. I'll see you guys in the arena. All right, let's see if we can deafen someone to death. I always wondered how deafen, uh, or yeah, how Dragonite would even use deafen. Is it's kind of like he's kind of seems like a fatter dragon type. I wonder if he's kind of has like that big opera singer, like suck air into his tummy and just like scream at them with his powerful roars and just to deafen them. Like I've always been confused about that too. Like in other games, if there's things called like sonic damage, I wonder like how ranked does that have to be to actually you know hurt someone with that? So it's the energy switch, revive, and fairy. Hmm, with a lie sign, that's kind of scary. Pokemon Center Lady, that could be annoying because they're definitely does 60 damage, and a laser, so it looks like our uh, Verizion might be useful. And we start off with, uh, yes, I'd like to draw a card, yes, I'd like to draw a card. We start off with not only a Dragonite, but a Rare Candy and a DC in hand, so this is all very, very good. Sucks if we don't go first, but it's still pretty, pretty sweet. Um, I guess if we get a Grass Energy, we'll probably attach that first off the draw. No, we don't, just colorless. Yeah, let's get rid of this entire hand. <laughs> okay, attach that, and I think... Muscle band right now. I don't think I don't see the need for that. We'll also pass to you. <laughs> Both of us have these giant hands and nothing to play. So a fairy jigglypuff deck. I wonder if it's gonna be the hocus pinkus to prevent me from attacking, kind of form a lock, or is it gonna be the balloon barrage where it's his amount of energy in play? Okay, and as well. Um we might be nice in, in our opponent just because uh he doesn't look like he really has any cards going on right now either, and I definitely need a grass energy right now. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. There's no other way around that. There's our Grass Energy. Uh, do we want to Ultra Ball this turn? We can do that next turn to see what we draw. Cause I was going to Ultra Ball for... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> that was off the clip. Let's do another one. 
See, my image of Dragonite isn't this guy busting and like, destroying things with uh, different Sonic attacks and, or locking out items. I still haven't seen him from the first Pokemon movie where he's just a little mailman flying around. Joe was, was confused why he could fly in the first place. It's being this fat dragon with this itty bitty little wings. <laughs> but I digress. Let's see what we're up against. Uh, okay, Dratini, not all that great a hand, but we do have a fan club, so that's okay. Uh, I definitely would have liked the chance to. Oh, and an energy. That's that's okay too. So we can protect protect, well, protect ourselves from uh, poison, which is kind of going to be our big killer, so he can kill us turn two. So we're going to get one Dratini, and yeah, one Verzion. Awesome. As I say, they better both not be prized. That's going to be very annoying. Um, I would I would norm uh, Venusaur. Is that going to be useful? I probably should have gone for the Trubbish just because I also have a Floatstone in hand, so I could have a turn two shut off of abilities. Yeah, probably. That was probably a bad idea, but oh well. I can do that. No, I want to spend another turn. Well, Venusaur's going to be slow. Maybe I can spend another turn, but again, I just want to be locking out of items a lot faster, so I think I'm, I'm just going to have to do it for next turn. Uh, so probably Floatstone onto the Verizion just in case I need to absorb some damage from and switch it out. Let's see what else this guy's got, though. Just attach him to Venusaur. Is that all you're going to do this turn? So that's, that's something I'm definitely going to have to do in the near future. I just, like, I did the Mega Heracross, and just the Mega Evolutions are so fun, because it's like, they're so hard to pull off, but when you do, it's just so satisfying. Sniffy and an Eevee. Hmm, what's that one? It's Leafeon with the uh, Sleep? Ooh, awesome. Okay, let's see if we can get uh, Rare Candy and uh, Dragonite off this, please? Okay, well, there's Rare Candy. Yeah, awesome, Dragonite this turn. Do we need to worry about bench damage, or can I discard that? Um, I'm probably going to get rid of the Seismic Toad, because screw that cheesy guy. Uh, do I want another Grass Energy? Probably, yeah, I think I'm just going to get rid of these two here. Get a Dragonite, and we can Deafen, turn two, which is very, it's exactly what we want. It happens fairly often, I'm not sure why I'm surprised, but it was just, it was like, drawing seven cards uh, is fairly common. Um, do I want to do this? Sorry, off drawing, off drawing, so, uh, yeah, those cards, and it's fairly likely it's going to happen. Okay, turn two item lock, so let's hope we can uh, prevent him from drawing, well, like I said, not more than more cards, just more three supporters. Yeah, we'll see what else he's got. He said, yeah, oh, would have been such a better idea, because I could have also shut off this Eevee's ability. But, and I don't really see anything else that would have been too key. Ooh, Bianca for six, I don't see him very often. Her, I guess I should say. Uh, mm, Jolteon, what? That's weird. Okay, and a DC onto you, so what are you going to do? Poison powder. Well, that's not going to, the poison damage isn't going to affect me at least, so that's good. Uh, okay, on to you. Bench. Do I want to stick this on the Dragonite? Probably not. Do I just want to get rid of it? Probably not. Because <laughs> I can't get it later with Tool Retrieval. Let's put it on the one that doesn't have energy, just because Muscle Band is a little bit more useful in this scenario. Uh, we will evolve. Uh, do I want any of this else? Not really right now. Do I need l for anything? Not really right now. Deafen for 60. One more and he's dead. Uh, and now we could also... Yeah, we kind of... Uh -huh. Yeah, so we can also scramble switch something else. What do you know? That jungle hammer for 90. Is that kill me? It's going to kill me, isn't it? Yep. And he's also going to heal 60 off him, 30 off himself. Well, I really hope we can get a DC. Because <laughs> otherwise, this uh, guy's yeah, just going to roll right over us. Yeah, now he has 90 health back to you. That is very annoying. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get Dragonair. So we can get a Dragonite with an Ultra Ball. Hope we get a DCE. Uh, Skyla. Can we get anything useful? Uh, another float stone. I could tool retriever to put that onto this one. Put a put the Verizian in play for now. Um, yeah, I think we should probably do that. Off of you, okay. Float stone onto you. Retreat Verizian. Attach and probably an ultra ball away. These two. Do I need another Jutini right now? Not really, but it would be nice. I could also. Skyla for one next turn, or do I want to Skyla for something else? Kind of want to Skyla for something that's kind of guaranteeing me cards, so I'm probably going to Skyla for Juniper next turn. So let's get rid of these two. Go Dragonite. Oh, yeah. So I can do that next turn. Don't want to bench you. Not yet. We'll, we'll leave him have a little bit more mystery in his life. Uh, Juniper. Good. Yep. Um, why can I evolve this turn? Did I do that last turn? Okay, yeah. Let's just do that. Whatever. Maybe we can bait him into ending us. Okay, well, this jung yeah, that jungle hammer is a lot more potent than I thought. <laughs> that four energy with no energy acceleration happened a lot sooner than I was ready for, that's for sure. Okay, so problem solving mode. Um, it kind of sucks attaching this, but I kind of have to guarantee the deafen. Like, yeah, I, like normally I, I would absolutely hate that, because now if I have a DC, it's a wasted energy. And when you have a three energy requirement, any wasted energy is not a good thing whatsoever. 
Okay, Sean is away at big hand, so obviously he doesn't have much else going on right now. So if we can hopefully start getting rid of this Venusaur, that'd be great. But he's going to be up to 120 next turn. Oh, I'm doing 110 damage a hit. That's going to be really harsh. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure how we can handle this right now. And this is when I really wish that... Oh, does he have... Oh, is that the one with Floatstone? It is, isn't it? Oh, and I have no more tool retrievers. God, I'm an idiot. Okay, uh, let's keep going here. Uh, another Dragonite, Trubbish, is that going to turn off anything useful? Not really, it's just going to turn off our Brizian's ability, so... Uh, attach, yeah, okay, so we can hopefully get a... Hmm, I guess that's what the best we can hope for, is hopefully get a Rare Candy into play or soon. Deafen, for 60. Attach DC onto the Muscle Band Gun, and hope we can find a Rare Candy. Yeah, and it's, I, yeah, it's, we just need to keep versions right now. The Trubbish is not going to be in play, or it not be a factor this time. Okay, so Jolteon has one energy. This is the Pin Missile, 40 on coin flips. Uh, so you're going to go for a turn instead? Or energy press, I guess. 110, heal 30 off. Ugh. Okay, well, we can kill him in two turns if we draw. Oh, we have a Skyla. Awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, things are much safer now. Skyla for a rare candy. Done. Yeah, that's this... this uh, Venusaur has been absolute pain, absolute pain. Okay, yeah, another Dragonite, another Deafen. So we keep block. That's what I was talking about before with only having, get out of here. Yeah, see I'm only giving up one prize a turn, so we're actually gonna be tied up at the end of this little exchange if he doesn't end me right now and I somehow lose this energy attachment. Bianca, okay, so no end. Red card, baby. <laughs> oh God. I can like, as annoying as that card is, I'm surprised not more uh, play, players play it. I guess now the stabilizer rotated, you can't just junk hunt as easy. Hmm, that might be an interesting idea for a future deck, a Diggers B red card a crushing hammer deck. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's not as, it's not too difficult to set up, especially if you're going first anyway. Okay, so you're done, and now he has 60 health left, we're going to hit for 80, and still lock him out of items, so... And actually, he doesn't really have much, all that much left, actually, I just realized, huh? Sweet, okay. And we draw two prizes. So, attach, do you want an Ultra Ball for Dragonair? We don't have another Dratini, do we want to use this yet? Uh, we can ultra roll these away to get a basic, or we can bench the Trubbishes to draw an extra card. I think we're going to do that instead. Draw seven cards. Scramble switch, Skyla. Uh, I don't even know if we have another Dragon in place. So we're going to save that till next turn. Skyla's not going to play. We'll probably discard that. And right now we're just going to deafen for 80, taking two prize cards. Do we need a second Frisian? Uh, hopefully it doesn't scoop this one up and somehow nail it for uh, weakness damage. That'd be totally lame. Or it's the, like, yeah, but energy press isn't really doing much either. It's going to be doing... To the defending Pokemon, so that's still 30, 60, wait, was it 10? 20 more. So that's only 80 damage total, I think, right? Oh, and we down to 4. That's fine, because we're pretty much all set up right now anyway. Uh, yeah, just another Dragonite, because another, we gotta get another Dragonite into play, it'd be cool. Hey, look at that, a Thunderous, or, <laughs> as you say, it looks like our Silver Mirror might actually come into play, but not really, because we already used our Tool Retriever. Um, for kind of a cool trick, I guess, being able to retreat is pretty awesome. Uh, he didn't attack, oh, no, Lightning Energy, right. That's why. Um, yeah, Scramble Switch is going to be useful. I definitely don't want to get rid of that. Attached to you and a Silver Mirror. I guess we don't really need that. Let's just deafen for now. Keep the Frenzy Emus. Keep the lock on. Do we need... Yeah, I can't... Huh. Yeah, like I can't, I can't see us needing a Silver Mirror more than the Muscle Band. Because, like, I mean, it's, he's not going to be able to get the Thunderous Noise into play. I guess that's too long. I'll, I'll have him killed by then. Hopefully. I've probably just jinxed myself again. <laughs> How many cards you got left? 24 in the deck. Yeah, see, I still just wish you could just hover over it. Oh, that's just... Oh, Genesect 2. Okay, well, it looks like Silver Mirror might have been a better idea. But how many Dracini have we gone through? Two, right? Yeah. That's something, actually, I, I uh, realized that it's usually one of my auto-include tech cards I just didn't really have room for. I just decided just to try without is the... Uh, ooh, Thunders now. Oh, as I was gonna say, do I have a lightning weakness? No, I have a dragon weakness. Come on, just settle down, handsome. Come on, settle down. <laughs> it's no, it's uh, what I was saying before. Is a, a trainer tech card I usually include is the um, sacred ash. Ah, do I want to get rid of this? Probably. It doesn't really have anything all that useful. Store on a scramble switch first. Definitely not. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, do I want to attach anything last second? Am I just no? Whatever. Yes, stand him down. Whatever. Yes, I'm sure. I just had a big thought process. <laughs> uh, Garbiter, Floatstone. So I don't really have any abilities. I don't think he runs Plasma Energy. Might be a quite a surprise, though. Snipe out of Rizzi, and that'd be pretty annoying. Uh, okay, yeah, it says Deafen for 80. Keeping him... Yeah, he's going to have 10 health left. Ugh, the 10 health again. But still, no item cards. 
I'm at 30 a swing, so it's going to take him four turns to attack. Now, if he can actually get this Megalo Cannon, that's going to be quite surprising. I'm quite curious. Like, he's got quite a wide variety of Pokemon here, and these two have been pretty uh, pretty surprising, to say the least. It would actually be, would be a really good one. We were just talking about this. Oh, okay, well, that's a Dragonite deck, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll uh, be having some more very, very soon for you. Take care.